you are determining whether the, whether the triangles are similar. Yesterday we talked about how AA criterion can be used to determine if they are similar. So AA criterion requests or requires that there are at least two sets of angles that are congruent. Here in HED and HBE, I see there's a pair of 90 degree angles, but the other two angles don't match up. So these are not similar. We need two pairs that are congruent for them to be considered similar triangles. Here we have a picture of a painting by this artist. What kind of feeling do you think the artist was trying to convey through this piece? Why? You can see that the artist used a lot of color, so they could be conveying um, feelings of happiness or joy. There's also a lot of different elements like thin lines and thick lines and different shapes. You can see this wavy line gets thicker as it goes down the way. So they may be trying to evoke feelings of change or maybe busyness with all of the shapes. What do you notice about the shapes in the painting? We see several circles, a few triangles, some squares. You can see with the circles that they might be considered dilations or similar figures. You could also see that these squares could be obtained by rigid motions. These arcs could also be considered similar or congruent based on rigid motions. What do you wonder about the shapes in the painting? You might wonder what tools they use to create these shapes. Did they use a straight edge or perhaps a compass to draw their circles? What tools were used to draw or paint these figures? For problems one and two, a diagram of figures has been recreated from an enlarged section of the painting. So they have kind of zoomed in to a part of the painting and you are going to determine whether the recreated figures are similar. So you can see here they've drawn this kind of shape here. It says, is quadrilateral QUIZ similar to QUAD? And explain. Well, here you can see that I is supposed to match up with A and Z is supposed to match up with D. So if they are similar, these angles here at I and Z should line up perfectly with A and D. So I'm gonna use my kind of tracing paper here to move this down and see if those angles match up. Well, you can see here that A is a little bit larger than the angle at I, and Z's angle is also a little bit larger than the angle at D. So these are not similar because their corresponding angles are not congruent. For triangles, M-A-T, is that similar to triangle M-U-D? Well, we know that M and angle M are the same because those are lined up in the exact same spot. But we can check and see if A and U have the same angle measure. So I'm going to slide U angle U all the way over to angle A to see if they are the same measure. So I'm going to translate it along that line and you can see here that they are in fact the same size. So yes, these figures are similar by A, A criterion. M matches up with M and U matches up with A. 
So yes, they are similar. By a a criterion. List as many angle relationships as well. We know vertical angles are equal to each other. We know complementary angles equal 90 degrees or have a sum of 90 degrees. Supplementary have a sum of 180 degrees. We also have the sum of the remote interior equals the exterior in a triangle. We know the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. We know angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. We also have, oh, I guess I should say here, they are equal to each other. We have angles on a line add up to 180 degrees. We have in parallel lines, there are three types of angles that are equal to each other. Those are corresponding angles, alternate interior, and alternate exterior. Can you think of any others? Consider triangle KLM and STU shown in the diagram. It has two sets of parallel lines cut by a transversal. So there are sets of corresponding angles. There are oh, corresponding here and here. There are also alternate exterior angles. So it says MKL corresponds to UST. Now that doesn't necessarily mean they're corresponding angles, it just means that they are paired together from both triangles. So UST, UST is this one here, and it matches up with MKL, MKL. Those are alternate exterior, they're on opposite sides of the transversal and on the outside of the parallel line. So alternate exterior, which means this angle here is also 127 degrees. It should say 127 and they are alternate exterior. Now we need to go back and look at STU and KLM. Well, if we know that these are 127 and 38, we can solve for this third angle in a triangle by removing those values from 180. 10 minus 7 is 3, 7 minus 2 is 5, 
1 minus 1 is 0. And then I also need to subtract 38 from that to see how much is left for this third angle. 13 minus 8 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. So this angle here is 15 degrees. We just found out this one was 127 because they are alternate exterior. So this angle here is also 15 degrees. And that's by the triangle angle sum. And it says this angle and this angle were already given. They were written down for us in the picture. So is this triangle similar to this one by AA criterion? Yes. We have at least two sets of congruent angles. For problems 5 through 8, determine whether the given triangles are similar by angle-angle criterion and explain your reasoning. If there is not enough information to determine whether the triangles are similar by angle-angle criterion, explain why not. Okay, so these arrows here indicate that these lines are parallel to each other. I also see that there are two lines intersecting here. And that means these angles are vertical angles. So this one here is 117 degrees. If this is a parallel line to this and they are cut by a transversal, this 18 degree angle and this angle are alternate interior. So it is also 18 degrees. And now I see that I have two sets of corresponding, or sorry, two sets of angles that are congruent. So yes, they are similar. By AA criterion. And we need to also explain our reasoning. We had one set of vertical angles. Those were the 117 degree angles. And we also had the 18 degree angles were alternate interior angles. For this one, we can use the angle or triangle angle sum. So if we can find, find 79 and 54, five plus seven is 12, plus one more is 13. So these two together make 133. So now we need to figure out how much is left for this third angle. 10 minus three is seven. 7 minus 3 is 4, so this angle is 47. Now I have 79 is angle F as well as angle F, but angle T is 47 and angle H is 46. So these are not similar because there are not two angles that are congruent, or not two sets of angles that are congruent. And we need two for angle-angle criterion. One angle is not enough, or one set of angles is not enough. We need two sets. Here I have vertical angles, so we know that at least these angles are the same. We don't have any information about these. It doesn't give us a measurement, and it also doesn't have the indication that those lines are parallel. 
If it did, we could use this idea of a transversal to help us out, but because those little parallel line indicators are not here, we don't have any additional information. So on here, we're going to write that there is not enough information to determine if triangle CUS is similar to triangle BUA. We would need those parallel line indicators to give us additional information, but they aren't there, so we can't assume those lines are parallel to each other. Now I do see some of those marks. I know angle G here, EGI, and TGH are equivalent by vertical angles. Being that these two are parallel, because it has that mark on there, and they are cut by a transversal, we have alternate interior angles here and here. They're on opposite sides of this transversal and in between, so interior in between those two parallel lines. So that would be this one here and this one here. I'm gonna use two marks here because I don't know for sure if they are equivalent to these angles here at G. So we also have alternate interior angles. And you can see I matched up with H because those were both written last in the triangle similarity. So we're going to say that these triangles, G, T, H, and G, E, I are similar by a, a criterion and the proof or the example or the explanation for why are these two pieces here. The red ones are the vertical and then the blue ones are alternate interior angles. Make sure your work is filled in for lesson 13 and check back here for lesson 14 at a later date.